Hey guys, in today's video, I'm showing you how you can easily add voiceover narration to your Google Slides. So whether you are teaching students or you have a course as part of your business, you can add in this little button to your slide so that your students can hear your voice notes and easily review and learn the content you have to teach them. My name is Brie and I help coaches and creators turn their expertise into online courses that sell. So if that is you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified every Friday when a new video goes live. Now my goal here is to help you rock your social, crush your course launch, and create consistent 5K months in your business. So if those are goals that you wanna hit, make sure you stick around to the very end for something that's gonna help you get there. So let's dive in. The first step is to open up your slide presentation inside Google Slides. Now, what we're gonna need to do is to record our voiceover for each slide individually. So you can use whatever you want for that. Um, Audacity is a free program you can download and use to do that. But if you are on a Mac like I am, you can simply use the voice memo app to record your voice. So I'm going to open that up and then record my intro to this slide. So I'm gonna open up voice memo and then hit to start recording my voice. So welcome to the 10K Instagram Blueprint Training. Inside this training, you'll learn the seven key steps to growing an authentic targeted Instagram audience to 10,000 followers and beyond. So I'm first going to edit that and clip off the timing at the end of a dead space. So I'm going to click this button up here and that will allow me to cut in. So I remove all of that extra space at the end. So I'm gonna trim that and we are good. Welcome to the 10K Instagram booth. So that looks good. So I'm going to have that save. I am done. And that recording is good to go. So the next step is we need to upload that recording into Google Drive. So I'm gonna first rename that as slide one. Once you've uploaded your audio file into your Google Drive, you simply have to go back to your slides and make sure the slide you want the audio to go onto is selected, then go up into insert audio. And then you should find your audio file there and then I'm gonna select that and it'll make this little audio button show up. So you can move that wherever you want to. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, whatever works for your slide. So when I click that, welcome the 10k it's going to play that audio that i recorded so over on the side you can change your settings so right now it's set to on to play on click or you can set it to play automatically so on click means somebody has to click on this little icon when they land on your slide to make it play otherwise you can set it to automatically if you want it to play when somebody lands on the slide in the first place you can also set it to loop if you would like and various things on how it looks, where it's positioned, and all of that. So basically at that point, you just repeat the process for each slide in your slide presentation. So next I would go here, open up my voice notes app, and record what I wanna say over this. Save that, upload to Google Drive, and then insert audio and add the audio for each slide. That way you can add your audio narration to each slide and your students can click that and listen to your voice notes as they go through your presentation for better learning and reviewing the material. All right, guys, that's all for this video. But before you go, launching an online course takes a lot of work and there are a lot of moving pieces so if you've been thinking about creating a course or you've started but you've been at it for months and you're still not making that progress you need then i have something that's going to help so i click the link in the description to grab my 90-day course launch blueprint which will walk you through step by step everything you need to get into place in order to have a successful course launch and build out your course to create an evergreen sales machine that sells your courses on autopilot. And this guide will completely remove the overwhelm and help you make it happen. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and share it with a coach or creator who could also benefit. Now, if you're ready to take your course business to the next level, check out these videos next, and I will see you next time.